lot of words in there. Yeah, and but I don't know really what the point of it was. Well, he did say later that uh, his delivery, he was taught, like equating himself to being a rapper and how you got to be on. When you hit your bars, you got to be on. And he just didn't deliver. So at okay. least he took the L there. I can appreciate that. TV all the time. Um, <laughs> same here. Uh, the, I think he's trying to support his teammate. He knows that Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Fame yep. quarterback in a very different class than, than Derek Carr. But he's now with Derek Carr. He made the decision in trying to get his way out of Green Bay to play with Derek Carr. So I think it was just maybe a slip of the tongue. But and is he better off now with Derek Carr? I think so. And I think that you have to look at this for, like, the long-term play here. He's going to be 30 <laughs> years old this season. Okay. And we've talked a lot about – their relationship going back to their Fresno State days and his last season in 2013, he's putting up video game type numbers. So, like, can that translate from an FBS school to the NFL? I know that people want to, like, poke holes in that. I think it can. You have to take a look at how effective Derek Carr was with Hunter Renfro last year. Like, the stretch that those two had where he, he caught 80% of his passes that went his way. Yeah. Who's to say that that can't translate to somebody who works out with you every offseason, who's running routes with you all the time, gearing up to going off to their respective yeah. teams. Now they get to bring that into the fold together, and they get to build on something, a brand-new offense with, with Josh McDaniels in the fold with the Las Vegas Raiders. People are expecting huge things from Derek Carr this year. Devontae Adams is going to get Derek Carr mm -hmm. that MVP season if he gets it this year. He's going to be a huge portion of of the overall equation there, but I just feel like to set yourself up for the long-term play, knowing that there are other pieces other than you in this offense, that was kind of the downfall. It was Devontae Adams and then who else yep. in Green Bay? So, I mean, I think of it like this team five years out, much better situation for Devontae Adams where he's going in his career because Aaron Rodgers might only be playing one or two more years. Who knows? Yeah, I think he made a terrible decision myself because Derek Carr has never won a playoff game. Number one, he's not a top 10 quarterback, number two, and he's in a far harder division in the AFC, number three. Yeah. And don't compare Las Vegas to Green Bay when it talks uh, about football here we go. It, and it, it, history. I mean, don't compare Mark Davis to the Packers. That's not fair. Uh, uh, not Lambo, that, not Green on, Bay. It, not, it, not, it's, not fair. Is, is, is the Raiders not a historical? Uh, not it, don't it's, it don't no, matter. No, no, it it's don't matter. It's still the same team. No, it's, it's still the same leadership. The same city. Do you know it don't the matter the city. house you could well, buy in Vegas? Well, but, but, no, no, do you consider the Baltimore Colts the same as the Indianapolis Colts? Listen, the Baltimore Colts yeah, are an historical franchise. And, and, the Ravens Colts, are, and the Ravens are the Cleveland Browns. We all know that. How's it different? It's the same thing. They both left. But Cleveland, it's about the city. It's okay. not about the franchise. You can't compare the Oakland Raiders and Al Davis and Stabler and Bolitnikoff and all those great teams that won a Super Bowl all those to the records, Las Vegas Raiders. All that, those you records, can't do that. All those records go with the franchise. Uh, it don't matter if you leave. You're still the same team. Did not the same owner go and leave, or did uh, they get a new owner in Las Vegas? Uh, did I miss he's something? The, he's the son. They're owned by he's the blue man the group? He's not the same owner. He's the son. Well, why why should any of that year? matter for Devontae Adams? Exactly. He's not... You know, he's picking, he's picking a better city to live in versus Green Bay. Have you been to Green Bay, Mad Dog? Many a time. Okay. He's only got to be there for five months anyway. He's out of there come January. He I mean, loves geez. it. He's a historian. I he's want I want to stay with the okay. – I, I want to go with Lombardi's there. You wanna, I want to go in that yeah, – you know, He gets to play to indoors leads, now. What, How great is that? When is the last time? No with, elements. <laughs> listen, listen. The elephant in the room is, like, the Green Bay Packers have had a Hall of Fame quarterback for 30 years straight, and they only have two titles. So, like, that means absolutely nothing to me. They got about the same amount of titles or appearances that the Raiders have. No, the Raiders don't have any titles. Uh, the Raiders haven't won a championship in a long, long time. Gannon got killed in his championship I, game. I, they don't I, have I, any. I, I, Listen, I, Mad, I, Dog, I, I Mad, Dog, Mad Dog, just win, baby. Yes. Uh, like, you, like, it, it well, how about, uh, you don't like that so, one. So, right. How about, how about the like quarterback? The how about the quarterback thing? Did anybody see Carr on those two drives last year against Cincinnati in the fourth quarter? When he didn't even throw the ball in the end zone, I, I, and I, I couldn't put. I did you hear Courtney? They're getting all these reps. He's not. Uh, he's not in a waterfall listen, vacation right now. They're putting love, in the work together. I love, I love this argument, right? Because you always talk about you know a guy isn't something until he proves it, right? And we said he had the same conversations about Matthew Stafford, about he never won a playoff game. That's true. He wasn't top ten. He wasn't elite. You're right. He it, listen. <laughs> environment matters. Right? And it, it depends on he planted a seed in an organization where he has an opportunity to grow. In Green Bay, you don't know if Aaron Rodgers want to host Jeopardy, if he wants to go meditate in a TP somewhere. You don't know if he's coming back. And he looked over there and he said, listen, I'm in the prime of my career. And I have maybe five years of good years to try and cement my legacy as a right. receiver in this league. Mm -hmm. right. And I may be stuck with Jordan Love. 
And whenever you say, I'm not pointing the finger at Jordan Love, you are pointing the finger directly at Jordan Love. And that's exactly what he said in his exit interview and his welcoming interview with I, the Raiders. Because he knew that Aaron Rodgers is walking the mile. He's on deck. He's on the read. He's, right about, he's, he's about to say the fat lady is singing for his career. And I do not want to be stuck with that guy throwing me the ball I, and I don't have opportunities. And can't you already see where the ceiling of this team is? I mean, he's been a part of it in the 13 and three years and then they bow out. In right. The Who cares playoffs? about the regular like, season and a week well, division? championship game two years man, ago. Man, they lost to Jimmy G twice. So, listen, they didn't get any better. If they would have signed Devontae Adams, they still would have probably been bounced early. So, now he goes to a place where he has an opportunity with a young core. Darren Waller is right. one of the best tight ends in the league. Right. They went out and they spent a lot of money because guess what? Derek Carr doesn't mind uh, would, not being the highest-paid uh, quarterback in the league. So, that allows you to be able to sign hired assassins. That allows you to go out and get Chandler Jones. It allows you to make trades and be able to bring in great no, young players, I right? Aaron Rodgers sat up there and looked in our face when Pat McAfee said, "Oh, I don't have he, he yo he doesn't have a fifty million dollar con- uh, contract." What when the numbers came out? What was it? Fifty million dollars, mm-hmm. which means that he's taking the percentage. The reason why we sit up here and we applaud Tom Brady and the reason why his teams are always in contention because he leaves some cheese on the taco for other people. <laughs> and when you look at Derek Carr, he does that. He has a team friendly deal that's going to allow you to get depth. Because when you are built top-heavy, you can't build depth. And we know that in football, somebody's always injured. And it's a very, very fine line between having enough players and uh, not having ask, enough. Uh, let me ask you this way. Please is do. Derek Carr a ten, top-10 ten quarterback? He is not. Okay, let me tell you this. Not okay, yet. so not he's, yet. Not okay, until so the season with right. Devontae Adams he's, he's helps him get there. Tell, 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 tell me this. Tell me this. Is Matthew Stafford a top-10 quarterback? Yes. Would you have said that when he was in, I in, in Detroit? Him, I would have put him. No, would you put him in Detroit? Where would you have to put him in Detroit? Probably not. Probably right. Not. So you just proved my point. I rest my case. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.